Today I'm going to show you how to turn dollar store foam into pillars for your tabletop gaming terrain. I hear you. You're saying, but what if I don't play tabletop role-playing games like Warhammer or Dungeons and Dragons? No problem. There are many applications for this kind of craft. And besides, it's fun. And if it's still not something that you're really interested in, check out some of my other videos because this channel is all about trying a variety of art. I'm making terrain for Warhammer because my nephew's hobby is Warhammer. Specifically, he uses the Necron faction. And it's the perfect opportunity for me to get better at this craft and learn how to use new materials and do something nice for my nephew. So one important thing before we start, the foam boards that I'm using are the Ready Board brand from Dollar Tree. And that's important because the paper peels off of them so easily and leaves you with just foam core center. And that makes life so much easier. This video is because I've been watching Black Magic Craft and Jeremy is an amazing artist who is really good at this craft. It's actually one of his videos that suggested pillars as one of the first five projects to make when making tabletop terrain. <laughs> Let's make some pillars. First step is to take your foam board and cut it into one inch strips and then cut those strips into one inch squares. Then with a folded piece of sandpaper or a nail file, sand one notch on each side about a third of the way from the corner. This takes a little bit of patience, but when all the squares are done, plug in the hot glue gun. You'll need to make about 14 layers for each pillar, plus a plain square to cap the top. Alternate the brick pattern by reversing every second square. The insulating property of foam allows the glue to dry a little bit slower and this allows you a little bit of time to make some adjustments. Now it's time to put the plain square on the top of the pillar. For the base of the pillar, you'll need a one and a half inch square of bristle board and a one and a half inch square of the foam. You'll want to add some weight to the pillars so that they're not easily knocked over. This can be done by adding a couple of washers into the base. Using a pen, trace the washer onto the foam square. Then cut out the circle and glue the square with the hole to the bristle board. Now glue in a couple of washers and attach the pillar. I glued dollar store sand to the base to hide any gaps that may have appeared. And then I textured the stone bricks with a ball of tin foil. I coated the whole thing with Mod Podge to strengthen the surface of the foam and to fill in any seams. When the pillars were dry, I went back and added a base coat of black paint and Mod Podge, making sure to work the paint into all the different cracks and crevices. When the base coat was dry, I applied a dry brush of a sandy beige color. To make the pillars more interesting, I decided to paint some individual bricks with a turquoise color. You don't want to do too many and you want to spread them out. And then I decided to add some brick red. Then I decided that I need some light color bricks, so I added some yellow and some cream colored bricks. Okay, so at this point, they look a little bit like those Christmas Rice Krispie squares, but that's okay, because I know that I'm going to be coating them with a dark brown wash and then dry brushing over that, so they won't look so strange. 
After one coat of the dark brown wash, I decided it needed a little bit more, so I put some more wash in places, but I also added some green paint to it to make it a mossy green tone as if there had been years of water damage. I then hit the pillars with a little bit of dry brushing with beige and then using tacky glue added on some three-dimensional moss. I also decided to glue on some more of that dollar store sand just to help brighten things up. I finished them off with a protective spray that was safe for foam and there you have it, pillars. You can support my channel by subscribing so YouTube will share my videos with more people. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you ring that bell, you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thank you for watching.